Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new I'm very happy that you decided to join me today for another speed build and today we are building something a bit different from what you usually see on this channel because usually I love to build you know within my comfort zone let's say um, so I love to build weird houses well not so weird but big houses and you know with some weird shapes and yeah that that's my cup of tea let's say but this time um i was talking to my very good friend Rayleigh. um if you don't know her you should definitely check her out she has a youtube channel as well and we did a collab well not a long ago actually and I was like asking her um, suggestions on what to build because well university is starting soon for me so I as I told in my previous video um, I sort of have to build something smaller for a few because I want to have a lot of time and I'm currently working on a messy plot for my little travel series and yeah, well, I didn't want to stay without a video for like three weeks because that build will take me probably, yeah, a long time. And so I asked her what I could build. And she told me that I should build something for a hat. And at first I was like, what are you talking about for a hat? So I have to literally build like a box with a litter box and a couple of balls inside and then she explained me that I could build something tailored for a cat so uh, somewhere where a cat would love to live and so I came up with this house um, it's kind of a weirdish house I mean the color scheme is a bit weird but I really, really like it the exterior is um, like white and orange and the roof is blue um, so yeah it's definitely a bit weird but she really suggested me uh, these colors as well and eventually I really really like how it turned out I think it's really cute and yeah somewhat adorable and the inside is very bright it's all yellow and orange and I really, really like the interior of this house and of course there are plenty of things for cats it's not like super crazy full of cat things because I didn't want this house to turn like in a crazy cat lady's house um, so yeah there, there are a lot of things for cats but you know not like a madness amount of things and this house is for three sims um, so a couple of parents and a kid and for once um, I loved doing the kids room because if you're not new here on the channel maybe you'll know that kids rooms are not my favorite things to get decorate but this time still thanks to Rayleigh because she recently did a video in which she furnishes like 11 rooms 10 rooms I don't remember and well she she has more coming because she furnished that actually 25 kids rooms and that video inspired me so so much and so I kind of copied her a bit and I did a, a kids room for a kid that loves the jungle and I really love how it turned out so yeah it will come later on in this video so yeah stay tuned and I hope you're going to like it um, and also this video finally is a bit shorter than my average it's still like 17 minutes almost 18 minutes um, with the screenshots and the intro and so on and so on but for sure it's shorter than my usual time um, I want to try and be able to shorten you know my videos but unfortunately I go so deep into details that I can never cut enough to reach and you know a decent time for a video I would like sometimes my videos to be like 15 minutes something shorter also because I don't have a lot of time you know to record voiceovers and so on and so on so yeah it would be really really nice to have once in a while some shorter videos but apparently I'm not able to because I put too many details and at the same time I don't like to cut too much of the process away from you know the video because yeah that's that's a speed build and I want you to see you know my thought process and how I got to a certain point so I don't like to cut 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 so yeah 
this time I had as much as I could, but I couldn't more than this. Anyway, um, yeah, let's talk about this house because up, up to now it's five minutes that I'm talking and I've said nothing. Um, this house, so I, as I was saying, is for a family of three sims, um, two parents and one kid, and their cats. I don't know how many cats they have, maybe two, maybe three, I don't know. Um, but they have more than one cat because that's what I envisioned. Obviously, if you want to have just one cat, you definitely can have one cat. And yeah, so this house is for a family. They have a lot of cats and it has also two bathrooms. Um, and I had to shuffle a bit things around with the downstairs bathroom, even though you're not going to see that bathroom in the video because I filmed only the bathroom upstairs. Um, but yeah, it's functional, it worked for me, so I definitely hope it's going to work for you as well. And what else? What else about this house? It's, yeah, it's, as you can see, it's very col colorful. And usually, I don't go for these many colors. Um, I prefer neutrals and, you know, softened tones, soft tones, wood, light wood tones. Um, probably, yeah, if, again, if you're not new here on the channel, you'll hear me say this thing in every single one of my videos. But I love to use, you know, softened wood colors and, yeah, that's, that's my go-to. And if you haven't seen it, you can check out my dream house speed build that I did for reaching 1000 subscri subscribers. And there you can see, you know, my personal <laughs> preference in terms of style and yeah so you can understand you know which my style more or less is because if you're watching this video this is not my style this is absolutely not my style even though i find it really cute and colorful and bright and cheerful and yeah i i really like how it turned out because yeah i think it's really happy it's an happy house this house <laughs> um maybe you cannot see that from the exterior because i was in autumn um, a season in which I was building because you know my last house was in autumn um, so I didn't want to change the season for this one also because I love you know the autumn colors but sometimes they can be a bit well not depressing but you know gloomy and something like that so yeah maybe from the outside it's, it's a bit gloomy um, I hope it's not actually I hope you like it anyway um, but that's the impression I got from the exterior, um, but in the interior it's definitely not gloomy, it's, it's really cheerful, it's really happy and colorful, so yeah, I really like this color scheme and once again, I don't remember if I have already said this, because my memory is a mess, let's say, <laughs> um, but I was really also suggested me how to go for the interior, not how to finish the house. That's my decision and my decision only. But she uh, suggested me to make a really bright and colorful color scheme. And so I did because practically this build turned out to be uh, really decides my build or something like that. And so, yeah, but I had a lot of fun. And for once, I didn't have to think a lot about you know the color scheme and all mostly the color scheme of the exterior because that's the thing i struggle with the most and so yeah definitely it was kind of you know freeing for once not to have to decide for so many things but as you can see now i'm cluttering up the kitchen practically i've talked over all the living room and dining room and everything else that you saw up to now because yeah i'm I'm talkative and I forgot to talk about this build. So as you can see, this is the kitchen is a fairly tiny kitchen, but actually it has a lot of counters if you consider how tiny it is. And also it's on a diagonal and it's a struggle to work on a diagonal. If you've worked on a diagonal before, you know what I'm talking about. And that wallpaper I, I've used in the kitchen, it's the first time I use it, but I really, really like it for hours like this. Um, Usually I go for either super modern houses or, you know, super rustic ones and I never use that wallpaper but maybe I have to use it more often because it's really, really nice. I don't know if you noticed it, if you saw it, um, but yeah, I really, really love it. And as you can see right now, I'm working on the dining room 
it's a sun room it's a really really cute room it has a lot of sunlight coming in mostly in the daytime i mean in the afternoon time of the game um so during midday and those hours of the day um while in the evening it doesn't have you know light coming in because the sun comes from the opposite direction so yeah i really like it um at this hour of the day you can see the light shining through from the windows it's really really nice and overall this house is really really simple um i think i i don't even think i use the tool mod that much in this house um of course i've used it i think for the landscaping maybe i used it i i actually don't remember maybe i didn't use it or i've used it once to lower something down but i didn't rotate anything if you don't know what i'm talking about the tool mod is an amazing mod created by twisted maxi that allows you to rotate things and you know scale them up and down and raise them up and down and it's really really useful and i cannot build without it by the time and yeah if you want to download it i practically use it in almost every single one of my builds so if you're not new here on the channel you'll definitely know what i'm talking about but if you're new here now you know as well and you can download it from the link in the description box down below i always include all the links of all the mods and custom content that i use because i use also the red shelf which is a piece of custom content but then I remove it from the build so it doesn't count as custom content and you can definitely use it if you play from a computer so it's really really useful to you know place clutter at a more precise level and yeah also all the sheets that i'm used i'm using are listed in the description box down below but as you can see right now i'm working on the kids room it's really green <laughs> because i yeah i imagine this kid would love the jungle a lot so i've included obviously a cat splashy because they also love cats they have a lot of cats but also you know uh, the tiger lamp from lamp from my first pet stuff that you can see right there on the nightstand and you know some plushies and the leafy wallpaper that you're seeing right now as an accent wall and yeah so a lot of clutter and this giraffe plushie as well because you know this kid loves the forest and the jungle the forest so i think it was fitting i don't know if it's a female or a male actually i didn't think about it uh, it can be both because that room is kind of not like gender specific um not that there are gender specific rooms don't get me wrong um i think everyone can like whatever they want whatever color they want if they if a male like likes pink it's definitely fine I don't like pink myself and I'm a female so yeah I don't believe in you know color gender things um but yeah wow that sentence was meaningless I hope you got what I wanted to say uh but now as you can see I'm working on the parents room and it's fairly tiny maybe it's even tinier than the kids room I'm not so sure but the kids room has a weird shape um, so I couldn't fit a double bed there while I could fit it in this room and the room is very orange and yeah it kind of follows the color scheme of the uh, rest of the house so yeah I was definitely super happy with the overall result but as you can see finally I'm working on the upstairs bathroom um, both the bathrooms are full bathrooms upstairs there is a shower tub combo and downstairs there is only a shower but there is everything else so yeah that's that's fine i suppose <laughs> so yeah they can have a shower quickly if they like have to go to work or something like that and uh, yeah they can also have a bath if they want to relax or something like that so definitely proud of that but as you can see now i'm working on the landscaping which is the last thing i'm going to do in this speed build so as you can see this build is really a bit shorter than my usual ones mostly shorter than my last one which was super long and oh my gosh it that build took me forever to finish and i'm so glad i'm over with it but given that i'm fairly you know masochist um 
I'm working on a 64 by 64 as I've already told you. So yeah, I'm, I'm not so smart. I'm not a smart bean. I'm not smart. I'm actually stupid. So yeah, tell me I'm stupid in the comment section down below because um, just in my last video I said that I didn't want to work on something big for a while because I have university and I have to study and I have an exam coming up and on Monday I'm going to start, you know, university and yeah, then I come up with a 64 by 64 idea and I'm not smart. Definitely not smart. Don't do like me. I'm stupid. Um, but as you can see, I'm just uh, working on the, you know, back patio. Can I call it patio? It's a fenced in um, backyard and it has just a table, a barbecue area and some plant pots, planters, however you want to call them. And, you know, just a tree, so nothing special. I could have included a swing set, but I forgot and I didn't think about it, so shame on me. Um, but yeah, I think we are almost at the end of this video. As you can see, I'm just, you know, finishing up with some minor touches at the landscaping and adding some flower boxes to the windows. And yeah, and some, you know, vines to the walls. But we are actually at the end of this video and screenshots are coming up. If you like this video, please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you have not already. And yeah. Hopefully I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.